Yo, what is up guys? It's just Noff here and today I'm gonna show you guys the Air Jordan 1 origin stories built in Lego. So yeah, let's get right into the video. So yeah guys, as I said, these are pretty much the brand new Air Jordan 1 origin stories that were released with the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse movie. So yeah, let's get on to the review. Starting out with the Air Jordan 1, I actually made a previous version to this. It was the Bread Toes. You guys can go check that video out right now. I'll leave a card on screen. But I pretty much updated the design a good bit since then. I changed a lot of the features, especially with the toe right here. I made it a little bit more sleek and it looks a little bit more clean now. And then I also fixed up this band at the top right here. I think it looks a little bit better now. Now. As before, it showed like a little bit more gap and it was kind of skinny, so I kind of used some of these angled plates right here and then just topped it off with a 2x4 tile to kind of get that shaping in there. And I honestly think that came out amazing, it looks a lot better than how I did it before. Another kind of like minor detail I changed is I put some 1x2 curve slopes at the end of the Nike symbols to kind of mold it in with how it kind of bands or kind of wraps around the back but it does kind of stop right here because there is like a little red um kind of like strap or something i don't know what it's really called but there's like a red kind of lining that goes to the middle of that so you guys can see i represented that there of course the fuego logo had to stay there i mean because you know this creation is fire it's heat but um yeah i really like how this came out of course the origin story is pretty much just a recolored version of the chicago's um so if you do want to make the chicago's all you pretty much have to do is to swap out all this sand boot right here and let's actually talk about that uh to get that kind of like new trans blue light blue kind of style that they're using in a lot of their newer shoes they also used it for their 11 concords but to kind of get that i used some sand blue i used a lot i used a pretty much every sand blue tile i had and then this angle i'm so happy i actually have some of these kind of angles because i think because i do not know how i would have done the sole if i did not have those but again i used all my sand blue tiles so i did have to use some of these kind of like other i guess they're like medium light blue i'm not too sure what the actual name of the color is but they're another shade of blue so i have to use two of those two by two tiles but i mean i think that's fine you're not gonna really look at the shoe from this angle it's mainly kind of the rim of the sole but yeah i really like how it came out but back to the chicago thing if you do want to swap it out you gotta do is just change all that to red and then you guys also have to change out this dark azure to white another kind of like minor thing i changed is i lowered the band up here it was a little bit too high and you couldn't really tell with the bread toes because the whole tongue was black so since it's white it gives more contrast to the shoelaces so i could figure that design and configure it a little bit better Moving on to the sole, the thing I changed is I made it a little bit more curvy. Before, I used two 1x4 angled plates, which didn't really mold well. It left a gap, like a half stud gap right there. So I went back, filled it in, used another 1x4 curve slope in red, and I just think that looks a lot better. It's more cleaner, and it just fits the design a lot better. I mean, yeah, that is pretty much it for the review of the Jordan 1 Bread Toes. If you do <laughs> again that's pretty much it for the review of these jordan one origin stories i really love the spider verse movie it was really cool to see miles morales with the jordan ones it was not this exact shoe it was just the regular chicago's but they did release these with the release of the movie again i really enjoyed the movie and after i actually saw the movie i came back and started working on the on the origin stories because i knew i just had to recreate them and i think this design is a lot better i might go back to the bread toes but for right now i really like how this came out but i mean again that's pretty much it for the review if you did enjoy this lego creation please hit that like button and that subscribe button with the notification bell on if you want to see more lego creations built by me but anyways guys it's just not signing out